Now there's yet another recall effort in California. This time it's targeting L.A. District Attorney George Gascon. Victims' families say that he's going easy on killers, taking away the death penalty in most cases. Gascon says excessive sentencing only leads to, quote, more victims. Last week we spoke with the son of Officer Keith Boyer, whose accused killer no longer faces the death penalty because of Gascon's new policies. Now the widow of L.A. Sheriff Sergeant Steve Owen, who was shot and killed execution style in 2016, is furious that the suspected killer may not face justice. Tanya Owen joins me now. Tanya, thank you very much for being with us today. Um, explain, thank you for having me. Explain, if you can, how, how your husband was, was shot and killed. What happened? Uh, a 911 call came into the Lancaster Sheriff Station of a uh, burglary in progress. Uh, the individuals that called were in the upstairs area of the home, and they said that they heard some type of glass breaking, and they could clearly hear someone downstairs. Mm -hmm. So my husband was the first um, uh, officer to respond to that call, and uh, as they were giving him updates that were coming in from the callers, uh, as my husband was approaching the area, he saw a male running away from the home and quickly gave the, uh, the description to the yeah. other responding units. Um, he then went into um, a, an apartment complex, which only has one way in and one way out. And as he entered the complex, he put out over the radio that he would be detaining this individual at gunpoint. Um, you know, my husband at the time was working a one-man car, and um, as it is accustomed, we go ahead and put out a transmission of what we're going to be doing before we stop because we have to multitask. And obviously, our goal is to quickly get out of our police car sure. and detain someone. Um, so he did put that information out. As soon as he stepped out, there was approximately eight to nine seconds of uh, radio silence, at which point uh, our dispatcher asked for his uh, status. Yeah. Um, and there was no response. And the, uh, the killer, as I understand it, was running, turned around and shot him and then came back and, and leaned over him and, and shot your husband in the face. Is that right? Actually, believe it or not, you know, there's been a lot of this talking uh, a lot lately about cops shooting uh, suspects in the back. Well, believe it or not, this individual who uh, shot my husband was giving my husband his back uh, mm. when he shot him. Mm. That first shot um, hit my husband in the forehead, which completely disabled him. Uh, the suspect then, instead of running away, which he clearly could have done without a doubt, walked up to my husband, stood over him, and shot him three more times uh, okay. on the face. And then he paused and then shot him on the badge. Uh, and the bullet was deflected by his badge, which to me, as a law enforcement officer, he's clearly trying to send a message to law enforcement yeah. that he does not care who we are yeah. and he's going to do whatever he feels like. You know, Gascon says um, that most victims, he says, you know, there's pain and trauma losing a loved one. Most victims do not want the maximum pe penalty, but some do. But he says most survivors don't find healing by putting another person in a cage. What do you say to that? Well, I've yet to find an individual or, or a victim uh, who would agree with what, what he said. There's, if, let me make one thing clear. The one thing that we as victims want, and I've talked to a slew of them, and I, I was a law enforcement officer for 32 years. I handled cases where I had a lot of victims throughout those years, and I never once had a victim tell me that I don't want that the person who victimized them to be, uh, uh, you know, not held accountable. It's for not surprising. Actions. Tanya, thank you very much. Tanya Owen, widow of Sergeant Steve Owen. Thank you for being here.